Hello everyone, it's Fresmotic here, and welcome to my series of a game that uh, I enjoy playing. Uh, this is Pokemon Platinum. It's probably my favourite Pokemon game, I would say. Because uh, it's the sequel to a Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, with a few extra plot details added, and uh, some more Pokemon as well. So, uh, as I say, this is my favourite game in the series. Uh, then I've just met the... Uh, Met the Pokemon Professor, and he's telling me to touch the button uh, in the middle of the Pokeball. Which, uh, as you can see, if I move this touch screen up, is right there. That's that. That's that's the Pokeball. So if I move this back, because uh, the top screen is the most important part, I touch this button, and a Pokemon pops out. Isn't that just dandy? We live alongside Pokemon as friends. Friend, Pokemon friend. Shut, shut up. Sometimes we play together, and other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may l learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Don't know why his voice suddenly changed, but it did. Are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm a boy. Yes, I'm a boy. I'm positive. My name... I'm gonna type in right now, using this lovely touch screen and stylus my name is Julian yes it is okay so you yes a fine name that is what are you Yoda why don't you just say that is a fine name derp that's so why here I believe is your friend yes another friend what's his name hmm I'm, I'm gonna give him a, give him a new name let's give him the name you know what, I'm just going to go with a really generic English boy's name. Let's just call him James. Because I really don't care what name I give him. Yes, that's my friend's name, I'm sure of it. The time has come, your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. What, that, that I'm actually a girl? Because you're unsure about my gender. Now go on, leave into the world of Pokemon. And we stand there in a running pose and then shrink down. And... What happens next? We see a TV screen. And just look at those right there. Can you see those bars that I'm pointing at in the TV screen? This thing's the TV's playing at 576i. All the layers aren't, haven't been interlaced. Anyway. Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you'll understand the meaning of those words. That was a comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. The Kanto region, for those of you who don't know, is uh, the region of Pokemon, which uh, which is from the first generation of games, i.e. Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Alright, so we're in our room right here, and the minute we move, James is going to come into our, into our room. There you are! Hey Julian, did you just see the TV? Sure you did! Professor Rowan, that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? I'll, I'll just stop doing that accent. That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. A little derp. I think that's going to be a bit of a catchphrase throughout the series, me going derp. Anyway, so if we ask him, I bet he give us some Pokemon. He will. He definitely will. Oh, and he gets distracted by my PC. I use an iMac, so shut your fat PC face. No, I'm joking. I don't really hate PCs. It's just that they're not as good as Macs. Full stop. Anyway, he's going to be waiting outside so that we're going to see him. He's going to find me 10 million Poke Dollars, I'm going to call them for now, if I'm late. Now, to be honest, that's quite a bit to charge. But uh, let's leave anyway, down the stairs. What does this say? The X button opens the menu. Well, derp. There you go. Let's save the game really quick. And while it's doing that, I'll wipe a bit of stuff off the screen. There we go. Scrub, scrub, scrubbing away, singing while I'm scrubbing away. Saving our rot of data. In Twinleaf Town. That's the name of this town. Hurry up. You're taking way too freaking long. Hurry the hell up. Julian saved the game. Good. Let's go downstairs. Oh, hello. Who are you? Get out of my house. Oh, it's my mum. James already left. I know he did. Flipping heck. He just barged into my house. 
or our house. I'm sorry, I'm only 10 years old in this game. He was in a hurry, yeah. He was running. Hello, derp. Alright, so we walk out the door because we're not welcome anymore. Oh, don't go into the tall grass. What Pokemon might attack you? We're okay for you to have a villain, but you don't, so. Well, take care, sweetie. Bye, Mum. So here we're in Twin Leaf Town. I'm recording this in the evening right now. That's why uh, the game is. Uh, the game's lighting's a bit darker than it should be. We've got snow in Twin Leaf Town. That's great. What's this? What did this fatty say? Oh, it just blows me away. I mean, how can you play with people around the world wirelessly? That's a bit of a hint as to what you can do in this game, which is uh, which is pretty nice. Twin Leaf Town, fresh and free. Not as free as Scotland. Huh? What are you telling me? James was looking for me. I think he's at his home. Why don't you go check it out? Okay. I'll go check it out. Where's his house? Is this his house? Yeah, this is his house. Actually, this is his parents' house. But oh, oh, flipping egg. Just thuds into me. And hey, Julian. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come too. And quickly. Oh, what's happened? Oh, jeez. Forgot something. Okay. Do we wait for him? No, we don't. We barge into his house like an intruder. He did it to us, we can do it to him. So that's his mad. Or for those of you who speak English, his mum. We're gonna go upstairs into his room. And there he is, sitting at his computer. Oh, excuses, excuses. I forgot something. No, you're sitting at your computer all day. It's got the, basically the exact same room as us, which is great. Oh, Adrian, I'll be waiting on the road. Is it 10 minutes in front of your late? Yeah, you, you already said that. Okay, bye. Damn, he's fast. Oh, I could give a Usain Bolt a run for his money. Although, he's not black. Up to James, I mean. Usain Bolt is black. But, uh, yeah, you know exactly what I mean. So we go up here, and we see him. Too slow. Oh. So, do we have to pay up? No? Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. Oh, tall grass. Wait, what? Don't go into the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. Doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I have an idea, or I've got an idea. You know what I mean. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go in the tall grass? Yes, derp. So what you do is you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. You do that in normal gameplay anyway. If you keep dashing, we can get to Sanjin Town without running into any wild Pokemon, derp. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes. On your marks. Hold it! Hold what? Oh, hello! There's only a Pokemon between you. Then what's the meaning of going to this tall grass? What is the meaning of this madness? I don't know. Professor. Uh, oh, awkward silence, I guess. Uh, hey, Julian, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. I'll do voices. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? Yes. You do. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Um, yeah. I guess. Me too. I love Pokemon too. I'll ask you once again. You do. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Yes, derp. I just answered you. Got a Pokemon. Yes, definitely. A pair of reckless kids who try to foolishly enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Shut up. Uh, well, uh, 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 uh derp. Well, then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. How big of you? Very well, then. I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through this exercise. However, you must promise me that you'll never recklessly endanger yourselves ever again. Now then. Hmm, now where? Oh. Oh, hello. I'm going to say that whenever a new person comes onto the scene. Just, just cause. Professor Rowan, this is Dawn. Uh, he left his briefcase at the lake. Oh, it's, it's handling rang here. Ah, there it is, Dawn. Nice work. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? Those Pokemon I had to replace. Are you sure you're about giving them away? 
I'll stop doing that voice, that's really stupid. Hmm, we exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that could be explored together. Well, it should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Ryan? I can't believe it, I'm so happy that I can't give a straight face. Uh, is, it, is it a derp face? No, a derp's gonna be really prominent and dominant in the commentary of these videos. Which is slightly worrying, but oh well. I can choose first, because he's practically grown up. I have to show some class here. Well, I'm a grown up too, so I should show some class too. But, okay, you offered. I'm gonna choose one. We have a choice of three. Look, these are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Derp. Now, choose. Which Pokemon will it be? This is Turtwig, the tiny leaf Pokemon. It's a grass type. It evolves into a very powerful Pokemon as its final evolution, which can be used as a mix, mixed attacker. It can uh, attack various kinds of Pokemon. Right, here we have Chimchar, which is a fire-type Pokemon, which evolves into something which is very offensive, but has very frail defense. So, be careful if you choose this one. And then right here we have Piplup, which, when it evolves into its final form, is very defensive. And is kind of offensive, or offensive, I should say. But, um, just for the sake of this walkthrough, I am going to choose any Meeny Miny Mo catch a tiger by its toe if it... Seizures, let it go, eeny, meeny, miny, derp. I'll go with Piplup. Then I choose you! There you go, the stable catchphrase for Pokemon. I'm picking this Turtwig. Your friend will always choose the Pokemon that is strong against you, or that your Pokemon's weak to. I'll explain, I'll explain what I mean in a second. Now listen well, children. The Pokemon that you've been interested with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sanjim Town. And now, we'll be on our way. Okay, bye, weird person. Professor, wait for me, please. I'm sorry, please let me pass. No! Fatty can't get between us. <laughs> That's my dolphin laugh. How do you like that? Professor runs really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Hello, <laughs> Julian. We've all got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? He's gonna ask us to battle. And uh, Pokemon's really all about battling and raising. So, we're gonna do just that. And I just press the A button with my stylus. I'm so cool. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Julian, I challenge you to a battle. Bring it on, blonde uh, idiot. I don't hate blondes. I, I, I don't discriminate against hair colors, usually. So James is going to send out his Turtwig. Now when I say that they always choose the Pokemon which is, uh, as I say, uh, strong against you or that you're weak to, Turtwig is a grass type and Piplup is a water type. Grass type moves are super effective, as it's called, on water types. Water type moves are super effective on fire and fire type moves are super effective on grass. So it works in kind of a vicious circle. But the only thing we can do right now is we have two moves. Pound and Growl. Growl will basically lower the opponent's attack, meaning they will do less damage with their attacks, and Pound will just hurt them. Unfortunately, we don't have a move right now which will send them to hell in an oven burning at 5,000 degrees with hydrogen cyanide being pumped through their orifices, so we're just going to have to go with Pound. So we're going to do that. Now, since this is a turn-based RPG, um, the Pokemon with the highest speed statistic get to go first, and uh, that Turtwig is raising its defense. Uh, that won't hurt you. You've raised your defense, which basically means my attack is going to do less. So, what you have to do in this battle is pretty much just keep on spamming your attack. Don't bother with the second move, unless you are a defense noob like Turtwig, who keeps on using Withdraw. Having used it twice, my attacks will now do half damage, which is very annoying. You see? Barely doing anything. Finally, it's attacking me. And uh, it's not doing too much, that's good. Pound is a slightly uh, slightly more powerful move than Tackle. So uh, that's a good thing. No way, we can keep going. This is where we hit our stride. Hit your stride? You what? What does that mean? Hit our stride. The only strides that I take are when I walk. Oh, you're, you've countered my growl with your thingy thing. Thing. Withdraw, that's it. So basically, he should do less damage to me, but now I'm going to do even less damage with me, because now he is 
basically quadrupled his defense. Well, not, I don't think quadrupled, but... Now I'm doing barely anything with my attacks, and he's doing it again! He, you can only use six of these status-increasing moves before... Before, uh, you know, you can't use any more, and that's the, uh, that's the maximum stat boost you can get. So, after this, he can't do anything else, but... It's gonna take me a long time for me to wear away his, uh, at his hit points. And, uh, he might attack me at some point with a really powerful move that knocks me out. But it looks to be okay right now, because I did use that, uh, that growl at one point, And I think we should be fine. There we go. It is done! We've got 67 experience points, which is going to bring us up to... Level 6. All of our stats get increased, our hit points increases, and all of our other stats increase by 1. So those are our stats now. And we defeated James. And after each battle... You get some money. We got 500 poke dollars from it. I don't know what I'm saying dollars. I'm British, for Christ's sake. Ew! Let's go home. I think that's just, whew, as in tired, but, you know. Whew. Let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. You are beat in two ways. You're tired, plus I beat you. <laughs> Double entendre. My Pokemon needs rest, too. See ya, Julian. Goodbye, big boy. All right, I'm going to wipe a sponge off my screen. There we go. Oh, my mum's in the kitchen. What a surprise. What's next? What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you. You and James are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Um... Okay. Go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sand Gem Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, Julian. Put these on! And we get a pair of running shoes. If we hold down the B button while we're walking, we get to, uh, we get to run. So, uh, so we're not so slow anymore. Isn't that just nifty? So we walk out the door, because we're not welcome anymore. And we hold the B button down, we can run, run for our lives. Just like this. So, here is thingy thing thing. Too slow, do you know, I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know a lake uh, always play out? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guess it, let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of that. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. OMG, I just walked through him. So, uh, as you can see, he runs uh, behind you as you run. And here we are at the Verity Lake front. And uh, this is the entrance to the lake. Lake Verity ahead. According to legend, this lake is home to the Pokemon that's said to be the being of emotion. It's because of this Pokemon that people can experience sorrow and joy. Jeez, people have really, really... <laughs> people must be really insensitive if this Pokemon didn't exist. Flip it, all right, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one, it's here. It even says so on the sign. All right, whatever you say. And I just stifled a yawn because I'm a bit tired because it's like nine o'clock right now. What's going on? Hey there, male version of Katy Perry. Flowing time, the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name, remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. You're very philosophical, mate. And your hairdo is crap too. Now we're to pass, step aside. Um, please would be good. Oh, okay, you just step aside for him. He didn't even say please. What was that about, weird guy? Pfft, you say his hair was flipping blue. Okay, Julian, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Oh, there it is, Kjorn. I think that's what it means. I think that's how it sounds, at least. Ah, where is, you t where is the Pokemon? Did you hear that idea? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs. P-O-K accent E balls. I've got some balls, but they're not pokey. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon to take them around with us. Do you think Professor Wild would give us some if we asked him? We've already got one with the Pokemon that we received from him. Actually, if you use them, then you're and caught it, then the Pokemon that you have already would not really have a home. Never mind. You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him his life. We needed anything. You're kind of abusing his, uh, his statement. Okay, John, I'll race you. First one of the Bristol Lambs is Daniel Town rules. And first person home is a rotten egg. So that is our next assignment. We have to run over uh, across Route 201 over to Sand Gem Town. 
to see Professor Rona's laboratory, and we are going to save that for the next episode of Pokemon Platinum. Thanks very much for watching everyone, make sure you click the like button below if you like this video, and if you have someone to let me know, comment below. And as always, subscribe if you feel the vibe. This is Phrasmotica, with a very pixelated icon on that screen, saying goodbye.